What's up, YouTube? It's L.O. Scott, and I'm about to react to that Indiana Fever and Atlanta Dream game. I watched the full game already. Not going to spoil who won or lost, but I'm going to react to it like you would have thought I wouldn't have seen the game. So let's just get straight to it. I'm not going to say I'm not going to say nothing about the starting line up. If you know, you know. Okay. Indiana won a tip off. Okay, Kelsey with the three. Oh, she brick. Dude, that's her first time breaking a three in a while. Okay, Kelsey with the layup. Okay. Kelsey Mitchell coming off of the game. Kelsey Mitchell because she is quick and she likes to move with and without the ball. Atlanta has to locate okay. her. Okay, good defensive effort by Caitlin. Starting off 0 and 5 and being able to really right the ship as Tina Good Charles shot. Able to like the look on the block. Haley Jones okay. with the Caitlin Kenley with the ball. To Nalisha. Yeah, I thought she was gonna make that floater. Cheyenne Parker Tyus mm. actually came off of the bench for the first time this season against Indiana. Okay. She had her. Christy Wallace with the ball. Christy Wallace at the rim and so crafty with her defense this season. Oh, I didn't know she could do that. I swear to God, on my life, I didn't know she could score, bro. I hope she keep doing that. Oh, she keep doing that, man. Shit, that's shocking. Okay, Melissa with the layup. I didn't know she could do that. That's impressive. Shit. Can she play defense, too? That'd be amazing. Oh, yeah, Kaylin from Albuquerque. Okay, hey, Kelsey. Kelsey Mitchell who gets the bucket there. Yeah, Kelsey right. Mitchell. Kelsey Caitlin action. Tina Charles with her second touch. I'm not gonna lie, she just threw that shit up, but hey, it hit the net. This is with the three. Mm. Talked about the number one overall draft picks. I mean, what they have the fucking three point competition? Kelsey, no, is it? I don't know. Wallace, I swear I didn't know she could score, bro. This shit is beyond me. Do they really have the three-point competition? Okay, no listen. Now one. Possession game, Haley Jones spin around. Finds yeah, that's just a good shot. That that's a good shot. Jumper. Atlanta has numbers. Bounce pass up the floor. Tina Charles connects. Okay. Wallace with the ball. No way. I didn't know she could. I'm not gonna lie, bro. She is blowing my mind. Shit, she might be better than Diana Taurasi and Candace Parker. They did fusion and Aja Wilson. That's big three. God damn. That is where Powers is shooting a higher percentage. Okay, right to kill some. Higher than what she's shooting from the field. Hit right now. All right. Less than two minutes to play here in the first quarter. A lot of attention on Clark outside. Taylor with the strong as bullet pass. Samuelson, the eighth in the league in assists, but I don't think that's indicative on what they've been able to be in the last four games. And how three? Taylor Clark is number two. Number three is Aaliyah Moss. There it is. Camp last season, and Tanisha feels like that's why she's got a leg up. Gets a screen from Samuelson. Seven on the shot clock. Pulls up. Mitty. Every part of the I did not think counts. Willow was going to make but that, but hey, how much can I complain? Key. Slowing down and being more intentional about their offense in general. And I remember as Aaliyah Boston able to how this team needed to change. And she said, I have to be a better leader for this mm. group. And that's something we've seen. In the I'm not going to lie. That should look rigged. I don't know how she missed that, but hey, everybody missed layups. Out of breath after the first quarter. 35 points for Indiana. The Dream has to find some defense. In the second. Man, get off the ground. Ask for the ball back. Left shoulder. Okay, a lead. <laughs> Powers baseline <laughs> off the mark. Fits on the interior by Caitlin Clark. By Lexi. Didn't stop. When Alyssa got handles. Smith pulls Lord. up in this offense. She is so far so good for Indiana. Atlanta earlier this
this season. Alicia Gray checks back in for Atlanta as Ariel Powers has a conversation with Stanford <laughs> being conducted there. Frank has the, another oh, turnover mind. for Atlanta. This Caitlin. will be their third night. Yeah, Loki. Caitlin, she I'm not gonna lie, she should just do the floater or something. Frank has to be honest with you. She's been this practicing be them. Look, that would have been a great chance for a floater. Right before she came. Night. Like right before the center came, she should did a floater. Puts it off the deck, held up in the paint, and a travel call. Yeah, she's starting to choke a little bit. Indiana. Caitlin, please don't sell this game. Atlanta, rather, looking for their first field goal. Up. They're giving Indiana. Now, this is the part of the game where they start getting bullshit call after bullshit call after bullshit call. Just watch. Way too much I'm not even gonna say that. I'm just gonna look at the camera every time it's bullshit. Deflection by Hull. Atlanta gets it back, and Tina Charles mm. able to get them at multiple Okay, that was just levels. a good shot. Tina Charles just had two points against. He heard up a shot that three from the corner. Pass from Clark. Three from C C. Up the court, Tina Charles gets the bucket, and that's a rare. That's a rare bucket for her. Now look, no, no, look, 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 hold on. Now you see how she was basically fucking holding it, grabbing. Well, she wasn't really grabbing, but you see how she was holding Caitlin arms and shit. Pay attention. Look for that too. Look for that too for the rest of the game. Start. Because I think that may have been the one and only time she got called. The only one and only time Kayla got called, and she drained it. Out here in Atlanta. For getting uh fouled and shit. She's trying to get her team. Wake up a little bit on the yeah, no, Aaliyah travel most definitely. Has to be ready to score. Okay. On cue, she gets the touch, gets her rebound, and gets the bucket. Mm. Needs to be better. We need more secondary efforts and to get out to three point shooters. And he said offensively, we've got to get the ball back into Tina Charles from the floor. Yeah, I mean, if it if it's not broke, don't. Actually, was that three seconds? That must have been three seconds. Okay, never mind. We've got to get the ball back. That's never mind. Ignore me. From the floor. Yeah, I mean, if it if not broke, don't fix it. I mean, Tina Charles was getting the assignment in the second half. Okay, Caitlin with the smooth dime. Now Kelsey was wide open, but I'd rather Boston take a higher percentage shot, so I'm not mad. Caitlin, step back. Damn, that looked like that was going there. 6-2 guard as Atlanta steps on the sideline, leading to another turnover. That okay. Tina Charles at the rim, misses the mark, but we'll get to... How was that a foul? Tina Charles backs off. Mm. Kelsey Mitchell makes her pay. Shouldn't have backed off. That space to get the shot off and the quick release as well with Kelsey Mitchell. When did she foul her? The shot off and the quick release as well with Kelsey Mitchell. How? Haley Jones. Like what? No, it. Let's. That's some. These refs are fucking very unintelligent. Speaking of the refs, when I was um doing my watch party for this game, right, they had an argument that um the WNBA either 180k a year or 17k a year now i believe 17k a year i would believe they make i think they make two dollars an hour let me be honest with you because the way they rep these games i see why i see why they rep them like this they make more money from parlays and trying to get bullshit foul calls and hold players back from points and um, and, and force turnovers alone than they do from this now, I guess you could argue, oh, yeah, they're refs. They have to make six figures. Case in point. If Caitlin, if Caitlin is making 76K a year salary, how the fuck is a ref making more than double her pay for the season? That, 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 that doesn't make any sense, right? This ref right here, 180K, right? He's making more than what? Shit. Probably 99% of not out. Oh, let's, let's just say 90. He's making more than 90% of what players make in a year from their contracts. How does that make sense? Why would I play basketball? Then I might as well go riff. All I got to do is blow a whistle and, um, and go watch and go rewatch fouls and, and 
what? What's the point of playing basketball so I get injured when I could just fall? What? Like, what are we talking about? No, they, I really, they, I don't think they make six figures. Is it, no, they, no, I don't, I don't believe that. They, I would believe that they make 17K a year. This is a second job. There's more power to you. I, I can live on no second. I don't believe they make six figures. The NBA? Yes. WNBA? Hell no. Tina Charles with the head fake, finishing as the rim. There's really nowhere on the court where Tina Charles can't impact the offense. Melissa. And here comes Mitchell, sends it off to Smith. That's beautiful. Sit out pinpoint. She couldn't even see. No, this is my she second favorite player on this team, bro, for real. Gray off the deck. What foul? The foul what? Oh, they have been to the free throw line. You put your hands up as a foul. You look at her as a foul. Career high, six triples. So Atlanta seeing who pulls up as a little mm, boss. Good job, believe. Baseline because her help is coming topside. Gray with the bucket. Defense that has started this run for Atlanta. The help side got to be there. So literally holding Caitlin Hill. Like she a stud or something. Atlanta with another. Like shoot. Look at the rim. Get your hands off her. God damn. Gray was not up yeah that was a foul yeah that okay yeah in the third quarter they're in the bonus first two fall in the fucking quarter and a half we saw in the first half and that's affected their pace dodge the three they needed that shit bad because it was on a bad run what foul what are they referencing don't worry i'm mad for you too caitlin and next Friday night, right, damn. stronger and better. Man, I'm mad too. No, you not. Absolutely. Shit, sure, you know, you know. A power move underneath. Shit, man. Oh, there go Caitlin. Alone. Bad idea. I don't even remember what happened. But chances are it was a bullshit call. Tonight, and so she puts her hands on her instead to try to stop her. Mm. Aaliyah Boston, contact there as well. Atlanta needed to be a little more disciplined. Aaliyah been pr playing good as fuck since she took them braids out. Now maybe them 15 pounds not weighing her down no more. She could run at a decent speed. And on that possession, what a perfect bounce pass. Lost Dangerfield off the bounce, working her way to the rim. Did she not travel or am I blind? Bro, this lady right here got a five motion shot. She shoots slower than Jason Tatum. Bro, look. Off the bounce, working her way to the rim. And no shot attempt for Atlanta. Talking early. I just Jason Tatum, ain't T. Hold on. Engaged outside of the basketball aspect of this she is. How did I miss? Free throw as jump shot. Five, eight motion as, seven and a half motion as jump shot. Previously for a WNBA Shit. game here in Atlanta. They out by Nas Hillman. Dang it. Precise as jump shot. It, takes it and gets the bucket, though. Five seconds on the shot clock, to the hole, three ball, good. Friendly after the half. Oh, I don't remember what happened. They got chippy again. Oh, but she has been their offense in this second half. Tina Charles had 15 in the first and six right now in this bunch. In her 14 minutes of play. And their spacing and how quickly and officially they get down the floor. Yes, they're outstanding basketball players, but they speak several languages, and they thought she had a look for a brief second. They Tina got Charles. That's where they got to get the ball. Erica Wheeler. I'm surprised she made that. To really start enjoying iPhone each three as sound effects. Enjoying the game, second games of the season at Connecticut, and then their first home game okay. against Good New York. Good defensive effort and by Caitlin. This team is old oiled machine on the offensive end. Pass to Caitlin. Oh boy. Defense. And I think Tanisha Wright mentioned it as well. It's a team that. Willer, you're not a shot creator. Just pass the ball. Clark receives a pass from. I. Hold on, y'all got to see this because this is the smoothest pass I ever seen Caitlin do. Well, it's a team that. Under Clark receives a pass from Wheeler. Look at that poetry and motion. That's going to be on the highlight reel. Teams in the league that have Just imagine that that was a no look. That would have been, my God. Home. Now look, before y'all haters say something. See, I told you, Kaylin, when she was a bully, she has to push out the score. She's not that good. She has to fall. Shut the fuck up. If you actually at least paid a little bit of attention to the highlights, you would notice that.
they're hugging and holding Caitlyn, all this and all that shit, fucking grabbing her breast, fucking pushing her all, grabbing her all this, fucking holding on the waist. Like, what? Like, they're trying to get Caitlyn pregnant or something. Like, what the fuck? Now, watch this again, because I know you didn't pay attention. You only saw Caitlyn push. You didn't see why she pushed. I'm going to play your hating ass. You only, you don't pay attention. You just, you you see what you want to see. So I'm going to play it back. Pay, just pay attention to something. Because I know you, I know you didn't see back because you weren't paying attention teams in the league that have a better road record what was that so you probably still didn't fucking see it so let me explain it to you since you know she was holding caitlin's fucking stomach i don't know if that's a follow you to not but uh i see why Caitlyn. on the highlight reel teams in the league she she really need to push off more Cause look, like you holding her breast, cup of her breast and shit. Like goddamn, trying to get her pregnant. Like fuck. I know you got a lot of studs in the WNBA, but goddamn, at least ask her for consent. Like shit. Like my god, she can't breathe. They might as well be choking her. Like what the fuck? Oh, another thing, I'm not gonna be biased about these calls, Caitlyn, because the refs, I told y'all, they made two dollars an hour, so they don't care. Caitlyn literally stepped back court and then passed. Caitlyn, look, this. Never mind. You, you know you know what stepping back court looks like, and then and then past it. The refs are not. Uh, you know, bro. They they make come on, bro. They make two dollars an hour. Of course they don't care. This is their second job. The other job probably fucking Arby's overnight. Imagine working at Arby's. That's so depressing. For Indiana. Her dominance in the last few games. Keeping in mind she had twenty seven. When the fever beat the dream at their place. Las Vegas against the Aces. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Caitlin Loki stumped like a toddler. The dream that shit was funny. Place. Las Vegas against the that Aces. Kind of funny. It's the WNBA on Ion Friday nights. All mm -hmm. this stretch for Indiana is important. Mm -hmm. To get this first win against Atlanta, you know you can take that home win streak. Yeah, you don't have time to sulk over Oh, yeah, fun fact, guys. So let's say the gets in the game with one minute left. I know you guys want to see her, but... uh. Start this season and these, these be about the only times but let's be straight up we know what happens here let's go to the uh my favorite part my favorite part let's, let's get to that so box score hey seven to ten that's not so bad it's not so bad looking way better than they did earlier so bro stop so look Melissa smith Player of the game. More than 50% from field goal. Made one of her threes. She missed all her free throws, but she could have had 25 points. You know, bad free throw night. But hey, almost got a double-double. It was one rebound position where her and Caitlin were literally holding a ball, fighting for a rebound. Looking back, I wish it would have gave it to Nalissa because even when I was looking at Caitlin's stat line, from what I remember, I think she went at least 15, five and five. Just giving Alyssa a rebound. So she, so it could have been two people with a double, double. She should have just, then again, I guess Caitlin was going to take the ball out and run the offense anyway. So I kind of get it, but come on, Caitlin, you could have gave her that rebound. The girl could have had a double, double. Like, come on, Caitlin. No, two assists, no steals, two blocks, one turnover, four personal fouls. Damn, I didn't know she had that many. But actually, from how they was roughing the game, it makes sense. And 21 points. Aaliyah Boston, she played good, too. Missed no shots. 10 rebounds, one assist, one steal, three blocks, two turnovers. Five per I don't know. I keep getting surprised. Yeah, five personal fouls and 10 points. I'm glad they ain't fouled out. Kelsey Mitchell, 7 for 12. 75% of her threes went in. She made her free throw. Four rebounds, three assists, one steal, one turnover, one personal foul, and 18 points. So she played pretty good. Caitlin, 50% from field goal, 50% from three. I didn't even know she took a free throw, but she missed it. Four rebounds, seven assists, no steals, one block, seven turnovers, 
fun thing about these turnovers is I watched it live. If you could actually find a way to watch the game, because I know you're about to hate. A lot or shit. Dare I say 70% of her turnovers came from trying to pass it to her and she couldn't catch it or her and she couldn't catch it. That's that's what I have to say. Four personal. Damn, everybody damn near fouled out. But that's because of the cause of 16 points. So let me see what she had. Oh, she only had four. Oh, she didn't get five, five, and five. Mm. I got to stop listening to everybody in my comments and shit. But not going to lie, guys, I don't feel like going over the other stats because my voice getting parts, but she played good. She didn't get in. Erica Wheeler, you know, she does what Erica Wheeler does. She played good. Grace, what, she, what did she play? One, oh, yeah, literally says one minute. So let's Taylor. Yeah, so that's about it, guys. You guys like the video, like the video. Subscribe if you want no pressure. And I'll see y'all sellouts on the next one.